Hey, welcome back to my channel, Big Check Energy. I'm Tiffany. If you've never been here before, I sort of talk about anything related to making more money, employment, and mostly being a notary. That's one of the things that I talk about a lot here, or did I try to talk about it a lot. Um, last time, I told you all about the A to B card, and I was coming back to tell you about the results. First of all, pardon my voice. Your girl got attacked, okay? I got attacked. I got jumped. Let's just say I got jumped and I got jumped by a sinus infection and ear infection. So I could not, like my voice was done for several days. I've been coughing for weeks. So this is what I sound like right now. So just bear with me, okay? It's going away. I'm getting better, but just work with me. So um, I did apply for the card. I was not instantly approved. Definitely go back and look at the initial video. I'll show you what the application process looked like. Um, and so what ended up happening was they told me they were going to consider the application and then get back to me. They did get back to me. I was approved, but not for the actual just credit card. I was approved for the secured card. And I talked to my brother about it. My brother is actually a notary as well. Um, he's also been a truck driver for years. Um, and he told me he didn't think it was worth it for me to proceed with the secured card. Part of that reason being, I already have other business credit cards. I have a PayPal business credit card. It's a MasterCard, and that has an $8,000 limit. And I do get rewards, points, cash back on that card. Um, I also have the first business card I applied for and was approved for was the Capital One Spark card. It's uh, the gold one, not the green one. Um, and so... It's kind of like, well, what's the point of me just getting this fuel card? I wanted to do it because it's a card that only uses your business credit to assess you. I did not have to put my social security number in. Um, and you can upload your business bank statement or you can kind of just provide some other information and they assess it. I was really excited about that. Um, you know, obviously I could put certain things like gas and uh, vehicle repair costs, things like that on this specific card and keep it separate. Um, and I just wanted to have the reporting done for just the business credit, but it's not 100% necessary, right? Because my business is an LLC. However, it's a single member LLC, which means that essentially the IRS doesn't care that it's a business, right? Because it's a single member LLC. It's not like a corporation. It's not an S corp. So I just kind of get to reduce the taxable income with my deductions, but overall it's just a disregarded entity. Nobody cares, but you can get things like business credit uh, cards and such in an LLC's name. So I was excited about that, but they didn't approve me. Wah, wah. It's okay. Um, with the secured option, I went to the application, right? Well, not the application, but I went through the email they sent me and what they said was, you can request the amount that you want, and what they'll do is they'll send you an invoice for that dollar amount that you request, and then you pay it, and then within 24 hours, they'll ship you the card. Uh, but just so you know, they give you the set amounts that you can choose to secure. I was like, okay, I'd still do it. I might put like 250 on there for gas each month and make that the limit, and then they'll assess it in six months. Well, I backed out of that because here's what they offer as the limits, right? So there's 500, 750, 1,000, 1,250, 500, not 500, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, and then it jumps up from 3,000 to 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, and then 10,000. So those are your options. You cannot secure less than $500. And I'm not going to use $500 worth of gas or car repairs in a month, not consistently. So I felt like it would not be worth it pretty much. I don't want to pull that cash out of my business account and put it on this card. To me, it's a little counterproductive. So I'm not going to do that. And so I'm just going to stop at this point. Um, I'm not going to proceed with getting the secured card. I will continue to use my Capital One Spark card. And I will continue to use my PayPal Business MasterCard because I already get points. And they report, you know, it's a 
regular credit card. And so I don't have to deal with the secured option. I want to keep my cash where I need to use my cash for my business, not on a gas card. So that's sort of what I've decided. Um, if I change my mind, which I don't think I will, I will absolutely let you know. Um, and we'll see what happens. But I am going to just continue to do what I've been doing and continuing to bring you information. Like I said, if something changes, I'll let you know. But I'm going to stick with those two cards for now. If any of you were approved, uh, please let me know. I'd like to know what your experience was after applying in the comments. And like I said, this does not require your social security number to apply. So I did not have that personal ding on my personal credit, which was really important to me because I didn't have, I don't have like bad credit, but I don't like having a bunch of pulls on my credit necessarily. So let me all know how your experience was if you decided to apply and just drop a comment below. As for now, that's it. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, I may or may not have my voice back all the way. We shall see. I'll uh, see you all later. Bye.